Hey there, Pisces. This is Renee. Welcome back. Pisces, this is going to be your general reading. So let's jump into this. Let's get some energy for Pisces. Okay, we have grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Okay? Okay, we also have adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Okay, so there, there may be some kind of challenges that you're going through at the moment, Pisces. Um, I feel like you may be going through certain situations. Um, let's get some more cards for Pisces. What's the energy of Pisces, please? Okay, we have vanity. Of course, the mighty, mighty Pisces. And we also have creation. Okay, so there's something that you're creating out of your adversity. There's something that you're creating out of your struggles, um, Pisces. I feel like you're not just sitting back wallowing in, you know, whatever these feelings are. I feel like you're actively creating something. You know, you may be working on your image, working on how people view you, what's going on, you know. Um, but I feel like there's something that you are creating or manifesting out of the struggles that you have been through. Okay, let's get some more cards for Pisces. See, what did I say? Spirit, spirit is wonderful. There you go. Magician. Something that you're creating. Okay, oh, and it's a big one. Ace of Pentacles. Wow, the Ten of Cups. Oh, wow, the Four of Wands. Beautiful, the King of, uh, King of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. Oh, my goodness, Pisces. You are working on success. You are working on success. You are working on being recognized, being seen. And Pisces, I think that you're standing out in the crowd. You are, look at this, vanity, of course, because you're being noticed. There's things that are going on in your life that have pushed you to this moment, to people looking at you and wanting to be you, okay? I feel like people are looking at you like, how can I do what Pisces is doing? You know, Pisces is tearing this up. They're building this, this new path, this new creation. They're manifesting what they want, you know? And I feel like you are actively pursuing this, Pisces. This is beautiful energy. I feel like what you're creating, Pisces, is, you know, you are creating this new beginning, this new opportunity that may be bringing you more wealth, more income, more value into your life. I feel like this is definitely an asset that you are working on, okay? And it's bringing in a lot of happiness. A lot of good fortune is coming your way, Pisces. Um, because I feel like, you know, everything that you went through actually brought you to this moment, actually created this person. You know, they say that <clears throat> the things that we go through, the challenges that we see, build us as a person. And I feel like the things that you've been through, Pisces, are building you into this, you know, miraculous powerhouse that's creating what it is that you want. Pisces is the most intuitive of the signs. So I feel like, you know, you're following the universe and the universe is leading you into this time of celebration, into this time of being recognized, having this union, okay, um, into this prosperity, you know, and I feel like, you know, this is you sitting on your throne, Pisces. You know, you're sitting on your throne at this time. You're watching things be built around you. You know, you're, you're building this new identity, this new, you know, form of Pisces. And I feel like everyone wants to be you. Everyone wants to see how you are doing it, how you are so focused 
in the things that you're doing. Because I feel like the things that you're manifesting, the things that you're building are just, you know, they, they're just turning out in the most miraculous way at the moment. Okay? Uh, let's get some clarity for Pisces. Tell me more about this reading for Pisces, please. Tell me more about this magician. Okay. We have the Five of Cups. Um, I feel like there, there were opportunities that have, you know, left you high and dry in the past, okay? But I feel like, you know, you didn't let those opportunities, you didn't let yourself get down about them opportunities. You took what was left. And you made it into something more viable, more real, more um, up to your standards. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. Like if you move into a house that's all run down and you are, you know, like building it up, you're remodeling it, you're working on things, you are, you know, redoing things in your style and then you turn around and you sell it. And you you made a huge profit off of this property that was run down in the first place. But you went in and created something beautiful out of something that was old and desitant. You know? So it's very, you know, and that's just the example that Spirit gave me. So, you know, take it how it resonates here, Pisces. Okay? We have the Seven of Wands. So I feel like with this opportunity, with this opportunity that you're giving, you're protecting it. And look at this. Oh, my gosh. Whatever this is that you're creating is bringing you more happiness, more abundance, more contentment. You have more time on your hands because something is working out drastically in your favor. Okay. This is good fortune coming around. So that's beautiful. But I feel like whatever the situation is, Pisces, you're keeping it private. You're keeping it to yourself. Because I feel like there may be a lot of competition in what, whatever it is that you're doing. Maybe you are flipping houses or maybe you are in this opportunity to buy and sell certain things that you may have a lot of competition in. So I feel like you're, you're keeping this opportunity very secretive. Okay, you're protecting this like it's an asset, like it's very valuable. Okay, you're keeping it to yourself. Okay, so Pisces, tell me more about this Four of Wands, please. Give me a message about this Four of Wands. The Six of Pentacles. So in order to get to this celebration, I feel like... You know, this is some kind of genera generous offer being given to you. I feel like you, you are going to have help along the way to come into this time of celebration and happiness. Um, you're going to have help along the way. And you may feel more generous to those people who stood by your side, you know, during that time when you're building. I feel like you're, you're not, you're not forgetting the people who stood by you while you were building the situation, okay? And I feel like you may have the need to want to give back, okay? So, Pisces, okay, with this King of Cups, I feel like, you know, like I said, I feel like this King of Cups is you, Pisces, and I feel like you're being more, you're feeling more balanced. You're feeling like, you had to have a lot of patience in the situation. Maybe you had to work through a lot of things that didn't work at the time. And, you know, you, you just didn't want to give up. So you had patience with the situation. And you really worked through the situation until your blessing was finally coming. I feel like it's a long time coming. But I feel like you stood your ground. You held your, your balance. You know, you didn't give up. And I feel like that is what's keeping you grounded, keeping you supported. Okay? So that's beautiful, Pisces. Tell me more about this Eight of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Eight of Pentacles spirit. The Judgment card. 
Okay, with the Eight of Pentacles and the Judgment card, I feel like, you know, in whatever this is that you're building, whatever situation this is, this could be love, this could be venture, this could be, you know, building up your prosperity, but I feel like you had to move out of your comfort zone into this new um, situation to keep building it. Maybe you had to do something that you didn't normally do, or maybe you had to go someplace that you wouldn't have went through otherwise, you know, but I feel like you, you're gaining this abundance, this happiness, because you moved out of where you have always been and you took a chance. Okay, you you moved out of that comfort zone and you took a chance of building something that was going to bring you happiness and prosperity. You're still actively manifesting. So whatever this is that you're working on, it's not over yet. This is just still building. Okay, you have the magician twice. You're still building on the situation. It's still moving. It's not done yet. You haven't seen your total prosperity yet, your total happiness. It's still being created. Okay, so I feel like what is coming, what is in store for you is just going to get better with time. Okay, Pisces. So very interesting. Give me an outcome for Pisces. Show me an outcome for Pisces, please. Okay, we have the Four of Swords. The Six of Cups and the Six of Swords. Oh my gosh. Look at this. The Ace of Pentacles. Like I said, it's just starting for you. Your blessings are going to keep coming. Okay? You you haven't seen them. You haven't seen the full effect yet. They're going to keep coming because I feel like you are having a recovery period. And I feel like everything that you love is coming into fruition. I feel like you're being surrounded by good people, good actions, good motives, you know. And I feel like you are moving into this place where you've always wanted to be, but didn't have the chance to take it. You know, you're, you're carrying those struggles, those challenges that you overcame and you're moving into this new uh, destination, this new journey, this new land. You know, you're discovering more things about yourself as you're moving into this new situation. Okay, so it's very beautiful energy. You're still moving. You haven't stopped yet. So you're still gaining your prosperity. Okay, so let's get an angel card. What does Pisces need to know as they go on their journey, Spirit? Give me a message for Pisces. Okay, we have cooperation instead of competition. What, what is yours is yours. No one can take it from you. There's no need to compete. And there's no, there, there's, and excuse me, as there's an abundance for all, you have complete access to unlimited abundance for yourself and to share with others. With cooperative partnerships, you can accomplish anything. What did I say? I, I feel like I've said that, but just in different words, Pisces. You know, so that, oh, wow. Wow, Pisces. This journey is going to be amazing. It's not going to be without its struggles. You know, every journey has its struggles. It has its adversity. But I feel like the ride is going to be amazing, Pisces. Let's get a, a Moonology Manifestation card. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Pisces, go wild. Show your wild side. Don't back down. Have courage, have strength, and, you know, be fearless. 
At the bottom, we have breathe through the tension. So like I said, there's going to be some struggles and challenges along the way, but spirit wants you to know to breathe through that tension. You know, follow your dreams. Aim high. Okay, so let's get an angel number for Pisces. Let's get an angel number for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? Give me a number for Pisces, please. Okay, we have a 555 five, five. change. Change happens outside your comfort zone. The time for change is now. The angels are whispering for you to trust your path and to learn how to walk and to learn how to walk it. Take the next step. Allow change to lift you up and guide you forward. Okay, so Pisces, this is your affirmation. I release all that no longer serves me as I am guided to move outside my comfort zone and let change in. Okay, okay, and if this resonates, Pisces, uh, in the comment section, type in 555, five, five. let change in, okay? Beautiful Pisces. Okay, so this is your reading. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising Pisces. Um, take a look at your Venus also if you're open to love. Um, I have them in a March playlist, so you can take a look at that. And until your next reading, Pisces, so many blessings to you. Love and beautiful light.